Here at Grassland, Oregon, home of novel solutions for growing concerns, we get a lot of calls and questions about the great things our seeds can do. Lately, there has been a lot of interest in how some of our clovers, like Fixation Balanza, Frosty Burseam, or Kentucky Pride Crimson, can reduce or even eliminate commercial fertilizer costs through nitrogen fixation in the soil. So how do plants fix nitrogen in the soil? For thousands of years, farmers have known that legume plants, like clover, would promote the growth of plants growing after them. Growing legumes like clover in a field would result in the next year's crop of non-legume plants, such as corn, cotton, or wheat, producing a more bountiful harvest. This led to the practice of crop rotation, which can be traced back to techniques recorded in Roman literature. People knew legumes replenished nutrients like nitrogen in the soil, but didn't know exactly how the process worked until the late 1880s. Hermann Hellriegel, a German agricultural chemist, discovered that leguminous plants took atmospheric nitrogen and turned it into fertilizer or ammonium in the soil through the process now known as nitrogen fixation. He found that the nodules on the roots of legumes are the location where nitrogen fixation takes place. Martinus Willem Beierjank, a Dutch microbiologist and botanist, discovered that the root nodules contained microbes. He further demonstrated that these microbes were bacteria, which he named rhizobia. These rhizobia are absolutely critical in the process of nitrogen fixation. Our clover seeds are inoculated or covered with rhizobia to make sure the right balance exists for this ecological process to work at peak efficiency so it can fix as much natural nitrogen as possible. How much nitrogen is fixed, and when is this valuable resource available for use, you ask? Studies as early as 1908 have shown that legumes, such as clovers, can fix as much as 360 pounds of nitrogen per acre in one year. That's a lot of natural fertilizer! During their life cycle, our clovers act like nitrogen factories, utilizing and storing almost all of the nitrogen they produce. It's only after the plant dies and decomposes that the bacteria release the nitrogen and make generous amounts of valuable biofertilizer available in the soil for other plants. So now you know how plants fix nitrogen. Won't you help your friends get smarter by sharing this information? Or even better, by sharing this little PSA. Thank you.